Okay guys, so thanks for tuning in and most of you, if you watch me a lot, you already know that I don't really wear that much makeup, but my favorite all time brand is coming back out again. They're launching again guys and I'm just so elated. And this is not my usual video, but let's just put this up under lifestyle, okay? Because I am Darylin with It's My Life Darylin, where I bring you content about being an entrepreneur, but sometimes I like to talk to you about other things. And today we're gonna talk about a little bit of makeup, just a little bit, little bit, little bit. So my favorite makeup, I just can't stop smiling when I heard it on the radio, I was so excited. In fact, I was too excited. Too, too, too excited, guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So here are some of my lipsticks right here on hand. Right here on hand. And I have another one, but I'm gonna show you guys that one by itself. I gotta show you that one by itself. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, okay. So um, let me just give you a little backstory first. When I was in high school, I think around 11th grade, my mom decided that she would allow me to wear lipstick, right? And I was so excited because the only thing I wore at that time was eyeliner. And then I moved from eyeliner to Vaseline on my lips. <laughs> and then I went from, I got a little hair right here getting on my nerves. And then I went from my Vaseline to lip gloss. And your girl thought she was really doing it when she got in the 11th grade and mom said, okay, you can wear eyeliner and lipstick. Ah, I was so happy. So, you know, um, I have other lipsticks and I don't have as many of one lipstick in one brand as I do this one. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five. I think I have a six one somewhere, but I don't know where she is. So I'm not gonna even try to look for her right now. But anyway, we're gonna go with these little five. And then I had this little compact as well. Now I didn't wear any foundation or anything, but I got this later in life. Now, if you know anything about Fashion Fair, you know this is not the original, you know, um, bottles or tubes that they came in originally. When I first started wearing lipstick, Fashion Fair was all pink. Their boxes were pink, their tube, their lipsticks, their compacts were pink. It kind of reminded me of Mary Kay in a way, but that's what it, you know, that's what it was all about back then. It was pink. Now, back in the 2000s, I think about, I don't want to say, four or five years ago, maybe, then they transformed into this brown, like metallic looking, you know, d dilly dobs. Now, what I wish I had done was saved some of my tubes from back in the 80s because my goodness, I could just show them to you because I was trying to locate them online just to see if anybody had the pink tubes, the old school pink tubes, and no, I couldn't find anybody with them. So if you know anybody that got them, I'm just curious, I just wanna see them. You know, get down in the comment section and tell me, hey, Darylin, I still got some of the old tubes. That was just be exciting to know because that was back in the day. Now, Fashion Fair um, launched their first line of cosmetics in 1973, but I didn't start wearing it until the 80s when I got in high school. Now the new owners are Desiree Rogers and Cheryl Mayberry. Now Cheryl, I can't say your married name, so I just stick with your, you know, your maiden name, Mayberry. And it's a nice name, but I just cannot pronounce it. Um, they bought Fashion Fair out of bankruptcy in 2019. And Fashion Fair has been going through a lot because you know, they didn't have a social media um, platform for a long time. It's an old school makeup, cos you know, cosmetic line. And Fashion Fair was originated and specifically created for black women because we did not have you know, women of color, we did not have makeup that actually fit our skin tone. We didn't have anything that actually complimented us at all. 
And a lot of times you just went to the store and you bought the closest thing you could buy. The eyeshadows, they weren't pigmented enough. They would fade on your eyes and look gray and everything. And the foundations didn't match, the blush, they didn't have anything. And see, Fashion Fair started out with ebony fashion shows. And so when they had fashion shows, they didn't have any cosmetics for their women of color to wear. So they had to create a, a, a brand for women of color so that when they walked the runway, they looked nice. I don't know how many of you guys remember Jet Magazine, but Fashion Fair always had a, 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 a ad or something advertisement in Jet Magazine. And I know I'm probably talking over a lot of you guys head and I'm so, so sorry, but I'm just so excited that this brand is launching again because I saw on Instagram where so many people were asking, where is fashion fair? Where is fashion fair? And for a minute, I started seeing a lot of fashion fair, um, videos on YouTube and then it died out again. And when I got this, these few little tubes in this color, this, you know, compact and tube, um, I got it from Macy's at a local Macy's about four or five years ago. And I still have these. Um, I don't use them that much because I don't really wear lipstick that much. But when I think of lipstick, not only do I think back in the day when I was a little, you know, teenager, I just think about fall because I love the fall and in the fall and winter, I think about lipstick in the summertime. I think lip gloss. I just don't want any lipstick on in the, in the summer. I don't know because it's hot and it's thick and I don't know. Lipstick is just warmer, right? In the fall and winter. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just lazy in the summertime. It's hot and when I don't want crusty lips, I just throw on a little bit of lip gloss and I'm gone. I don't have to worry about is it lined up right and all that because most of the time it's clear. You know, with just maybe a hint of color, but with lip gloss, with lipstick, you have to be precise, especially with your darker shades, because you can readily see that it's not on the correct way. So um, I don't know. I, I'm just excited. I'm excited. Maybe you're not as excited as I am, but I am. So I'm about to put on my teacher glasses because I want to share with you the colors that I do have. And let me see, one of the colors in the writing is so small, even with the glasses on. Oh my gosh. So this color is, is this Moroccan? Oh, this is Moroccan Spice. And I just have to be in the mood for this one because it's orange and it's actually oranger, orangey, more orangey than it's showing on camera. It really is. It is so freaking loud. And I had a um, video one time showcasing all of my Fashion Fair lipsticks one time. I don't know if I still do, but if I do, I'll link it in the description. So I hope I'm not covering up my microphone because I'm a big audio girl. You guys know that. But it's this is, I don't even know. I can't even, oh, it's just not picking up on camera. This is a bright, orange color and that this was my little phase when I kept telling myself you know it doesn't matter you know I'm gonna wear and rock this orange color but I can't wear it all the time but as you can see it's it's it's, it's I've been using it not as much but I've been using it okay now another color that I have here just okay just look like something missing I'm sure I have more lipsticks than this but these are the ones I could just grab up real quick. And this is just annoying because even with my glasses on, this sucker is hard to see. Let me see. Um, okay, this is the, the skin tone one. All right, anyway, here it is. And what color is this? I can't see it. Um, oh my gosh. Let me put it on the screen and see. Oh, they just, the writing is so small. And I hope I don't have it in the wrong direction. Can you see it? Oh my goodness. Mm. It might take a while to, for it to focus. There it is. And it might be upside down. I don't know. 
This one, I just know just by the color and it's not as dark as it looks in the tube. This is cherry wine. This is my second favorite lipstick because a lot of times I find that not all red lipstick look good on all skin tones and all brands of red. There's just different types of reds. And this one is so um, creamy and it is, it's got a little shine to it. It's smooth, it's easy to put it on. And I put it on the bottom and like that. Mm. Cherry wine is a good one you guys won't check out. You might wanna check it out, especially for you guys who love to wear red. Now, this is another one. Let me see. I'm gonna have to try to read it, put the specs on and read it. Um. Oh, I can't see it. I'm gonna let you guys see it right here. Oh, I'm so ashamed, but I cannot see this. That's it right there. You can read it. And here is a shade. Now, I don't wear this one. I'll be ashamed of myself. I bought it and I don't wear it. I think I tested it in a store and it's just the least, my least favorite. I don't know why. Maybe I think it's too dark. I don't know. But I'm going to have to use it though because I don't want to be wasteful. Now... <laughs> Let me show y'all this one. <laughs> I don't need no glasses for this one. I know this one. <laughs> I wear this one all the time. I got it on right now. And let me tell you, it looks good on dark skin tones and lighter skin tones. I love this lipstick. And the first thing I did when I found out they were relaunching again, because they launched a long time ago, maybe a few back in the 2000s, they launched and now they're launching again from bankruptcy again. OK, poor thing. Bless their hearts. But they're still hanging in there. And you know what? They're still black owned, too. That is good. I'm just so proud of that because I, I mean, it's, it's some history behind this fashion fair makeup. So, you know, it's near and dear to me because it was the first brand that came out and said, we need to give our women of color something. We want to wear makeup too. And I'm just so glad that it ended up being black owned and nothing against any other race at all. I have lipsticks and glosses and eyeshadows from other companies. So that is not it at all guys, not at all but I'm just so happy. And it, and it brings back memories for me because like I said, my mom allowed me to wear it when I was a teenager and it was just something like a treat to me. I loved it. But anyway, back to the story. This lipstick is my all time favorite. It is chocolate raspberry. And when I found out that chocolate raspberry, which to me looks good on any skin tone, um, that's the first thing I did was go on the website. Now they're available on the website in Sephora stores. Fashion Fair is in Sephora stores right now, but online, I think. If I got my dates right, they launch in the store, the actual store, September 9th, but they're online in, on, on Sephora's website as I speak to you right now. Here is my favorite lipstick. Can you see it? No, you can't because I dig in it all the time. I'm always digging, digging, digging. Look at there, guys. Ridiculous. I take this brush and I don't even use this side. I use this side. I dig in it. I dig in it and I put it on all the time. Let me check my lipstick. See, it's still looking good. And it doesn't need a liner. It doesn't need a liner because it is pigmented enough but not so much where if you have a natural line right there, you can line this. You can line your lips with this at the bottom and, and you are good. And let me tell you what I love about Fashion Fair lipstick. They last so long. This will be on my lips practically all day long. It may fade a little bit after five hours, but it's still there. I can drink, I can eat, it's still there, but I love it because you don't need lips, lip gloss. It's, it's got so much moisture in it. 
is great. I love it. And I love the color. I think it just complements my skin tone. And I don't have on any foundation or anything and it still doesn't look bad. You know how sometimes you can wear a lipstick and it looks like you need to put on foundation, like something is missing. It doesn't look like anything's missing when I put this on. I put the lashes on and the lipstick on and I am done for the most part. And I'm just so happy that they're launching because girl, I gotta get my $26 together and get in there and get the new tube, a lipstick from Chocolate Rat for, cho you know, Chocolate Raspberry my color i think i would have been so upset if they didn't come back with this color but yes here it is it has um fashion fair engraved on the side i don't know if it's on the lid or on the actual tube let me see where is it honey this one probably faded off let me get one that's, that's probably not faded okay see <laughs> so you can still see it on there you see it okay but on this tube, I use it so dang much. I don't see no fashion fair engraving. <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. But this is what I wear. I, I dig in it. And let me show you what I used to use when I was in high school. I didn't have no lip brush and all that little stuff. Yes. Yes. I used the ink pen. I sure did. I boop, boop, boop. And who, and I'm not going to lie, I didn't care anything about was the pen clean and all that stuff. I wasn't thinking about that. I was trying to get my lipstick out. It was my personal pen, but I didn't worry about whether it was clean. And I always had a piece, a little tissue. I had tissue. And once I get that lipstick on there and mm, 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 I get that tissue and wipe it off and I'm done. Okay. And I had a little friend. I wish I knew where she was today. When we were in high school, we were the only two that wore this color. We were the only two that wore fashion fair. She wore the whole, she wore the foundation, the eyeliner, and she had on the lipstick. We were in high school in 11th and 12th grade. I only wore the eyeliner and the lipstick. I wonder if I knew how to put on lashes, if my mother would have allowed me to wear lashes then. That probably would have been too much, huh? I don't know. But anyway, this is my lipstick. I love it. I got this in the early to mid 2000s and it's still in there. You can tell I've been, you know, trying to get it out, but I just kept trying to wear it and it just wasn't working for me. And here is underneath here, all of their compacts used to have a place for your sponge. And I used the sponge a few times, but I threw the sponge away because I figured the sponge was Eventually it was so nasty looking. I thought it was unsanitary. Even if I, you know, washed it with soap and water, it just didn't look clean to me. So I figured I would just buy those little sponge wedges and use it. And I might try this again. I don't know. It might be me. I may not be wearing it properly. I don't know. I don't, it may be outdated. I don't may need to throw it away. I don't know. The face of Fashion Fair now, her name is Kiki. Lane and she is I think she's a model and actress or something like that. Well, she's the ambassador for Fashion Fair now. And so, you know, I, I'm going to do my part too to try to help her as much as possible. I mean, I'm not a model or anything. I mean, I used to be a model a long time ago on a lower, lower, lower scale, <laughs> but I'm no Kiki Lane, but I'm definitely going to try to do my part because I just think it's important. It's a bunch of makeup lines out there, but this one is so near and dear and precious to me. It really is. So that's it guys. I just wanted to share my excitement for fashion fair and maybe some of you guys want to check it out. Um, the lipsticks are $26. This is not sponsored. And, um, back in my day, the lipstick was $12 and I thought that was a lot then. And I didn't finish the story, but my mom, Sometimes, you know, I didn't go to my dad for this. You know, he, he was my, my hero. He, you know, all the other stuff I need when I need to be tough and everything. But I went to my dad, my mom and God rest his soul, you know, and my parents were married for 42 or 43 years before my dad went home to glory. 
And so I just have a lots of happy memories wrapped around this fashion fair because my dad was like, okay, whatever. But my mom, sometimes when she got off, off work, I would say, mom, I'm out of lipstick. I'm almost down to the bottom. I'm scraping the tube. I'm almost down to the bottom. And I can't think of my little high school friend's name. Oh, I can see her face. If I could just think of her name, I would say it here because I never know one day she might see this video. But she and I used to get our little lipstick. And once we got down to this, we would say, oh, my God, we got to ask our moms to get us some more because we are digging in the bottom. And I mean, I will use this until I get it all out. But yes, it was $12 back then. And I was a good girl. I did my chores at home. So my mom didn't mind. Granted, now I know she was tired sometime, but she I loved her for stopping by Rich's or Macy's at the time. I think it was called Davison's now Macy's. And sometimes she would be so tired. She would say, go in, run in, get your lipstick and come on out because I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to cook dinner and get ready for the next day. So I just have those fun memories with Fashion Fair and my mom and I just thank her for letting me purchase it. I mean, it didn't harm anything or anybody. And that's all I really wanted, you know, was my lipstick. And I'm just grateful that she allowed me to get it. So anyway, guys, if you have any fun memories around um, Fashion Fair, I would love for you to share them in the comments. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please go check out my playlist entitled Cleaning Business. I would love to see you there. And any of my other biz, any of my other videos, I would love for you to check out if you're not interested in any type of business, entrepreneurship or cleaning business. I would love for you to check out more of my videos. So that's it, guys. Thanks. If you watch this entire time, thank you for watching. Leave some comments down in the comment section because I love the comments. And if you have any stories around growing up using fashion fair. I would love to hear your story. So that's it guys. I've been blabbering enough. I've been going on too much. Now it's time to go and I'll see you on the next video.